Mountains and meandering waterfronts welcomed us. As we drove from Bhuvaneshwar to Boguda, a tiny town in the heart of the district of Ganjam in Odisha. We were told that Ganjam is a land of wonderful folk artistry, an august encounter with the mesmeric landscape dotted by a warm and cordial welcome by the local people set the mood of the journey. Wondering about the simplicity and the openness of Ganjam folk, we realize that God plays an intrinsic role in life here. Art, craft, society. Wherever you cast a glance, the ultimate aim is to please God. Religious processions are taken out frequently and the villagers join it with an open mind. Every settlement has a temple where pujas are performed as a rule. The living conditions on the contrary are quite distressing all over Ganjam. Roads are more or less good, but the transport system is pathetic. <laughs> Poverty is written in every face. Even the team leader resides in a room just two feet in width. It is a mystery to our urban eye how the people retain the spontaneity of life in the face of such inconvenience. In each village we were greeted with a fancy ritual. Everybody opened their door to the guests without hesitation.
All the three art forms that we came across have a holistic base and are cultivated by an exercise of human power. No matter where you are or how you live, what you eat or what you don't, the zest for life remains intact. Art emerges out of it. Society in these areas is male-dominated. Women do not take active part in the performance. They enjoy the shows from the last row. They cook, they do the household chores, and they take care of the kids. Most artists dream of having more male children and end up with six or seven kids. Artistry and family are two separate propositions. Ganjam is the most widely populated district of Odisha, with a geographical area of 8,070.6 square kilometers. At least 30 odd groups of folk troops could be identified by us. In all three art forms, the creative aspiration matches well with a Herculean physical fitness. Tonkobado requires hard training. You have to start from childhood. The training system is simple. Just blow your breath into the water pot through a pipe, which is a simple stalk of the papaya leaf. Once the lung function is adjusted, an artist can blow the conch shell in one breath for four to five minutes. Animal mask dancers can join in youth, and the theatrical aspects can be understood in one year's time.
Prahlad Natak is an altogether different experience. The story of God punishing the evil has continued to remain as the only theme of this operatic art. Singing and dancing, which again is a combination of Chhau and Kathakali, and acting in ornate dress and makeup constitutes the base of Prahlad Natak. Raja Ramkrishna Chowtrai, a zamindar of Jalantar, now a part of Andhra Pradesh, conceived this story first. It is not well defined drama performed with a plethora of songs and dialogues in sanskritized odia the play is an admixture of ancient classical theater and prevalent folk theater no improvisations can be made on the key point of god punishing evil except in the rendition of new ragas which researchers are doing in right earnest According to the gurus and the performers this limitation is often a rebuttal of the contextuality that any creative soul would prefer to look for but there is no way to resist or alter it this is the clue to the conservatism which the people of Ganjam in general are never able to sacrifice the social psyche in these areas is replete with indomitable conservatism they agree about the prospect of progress like this young man who wants to complete his mba studies he has no disrespect for the traditional craft that his ancestors have harnessed enjoy karte lekin part nahi karte kitna aur sala hai aap kaun kam bhurcha chari aur sala chari aur sala aage to kaun hobe bappa ma ha namaste ye mane कितने मासू कितना कम हो जाओ मासू को बार सौ हिंदू बार सौ मैंने दिल्ली आप को काम करी कम हो जाओ ना कैसे कम दी कैसे कितने कम कितने कम दी ये संख्या बहुत हो जाओ ना आप किसी काम करी दी पैसा रोजगार हो जाओ We also came across young men like him who do not hesitate to take up jobs of daily labour or switch to visual art for making both ends meet the essence of life here. is contentment the musical instruments including the dated harmonium symbolizes the outlook towards ingredients they do not mind hanging on to what is bequeathed animal mask dancers go a step ahead and declare their concern for modernity in the performances this play is regarding wildlife and the conservation of nature
शादी किया तो आपको जनाना को डर नहीं लगता आप बाग बनता है नहीं क्यों माँ का संतान है आपको कोई बाग को सामने पड़ जाए तो डरेगा नहीं नहीं डरेगा <laughs> the puppets or masked men represent an area between myth and reality and impart an educative message of goodness and sanctity The Shankobadon artists treat the instrument as a holy spirit. It is collected from the shores of Orissa. The conch shell is still used in auspicious occasions in the entire Hindu belt. भगवान श्री कृष्ण जो शंख बजाता है भगवान को तो श्री कृष्ण सब सब तो मानता है हिंदू धर्म का परंपरा है मानता है ये जो बजाता है शंख कैसे श्री कृष्ण बजाता है इसके लिए श्री कृष्ण का हाथ का शौक हम जो बजाता है इसके लिए ये समुद्र का चीज ही भगवान का हाथ लिया इस हाथ से हम बजाता है इसको फूल धूप हम सुबह और शाम को देना ही पड़ता है Art and religious belief mingle into one ethos in such a way. शादी का टाइम में प्रोग्राम करके जाता है पांच पैसा कमाता है बात है और गवर्नमेंट का हमारा इंस्टीट्यूशन कल्चर कलकत्ता ये ये चीज से ऑफिस हमको बोलाता है हम सारा भारत जाता है वो लोग का बोलते हम भी सॉन्ग सीखने का हम भी जाएगा ये लोग वैसे इसीलिए वो लोग सीखने के तैयार होता है दो पैसा कमाएगा खाना भी अच्छा मिलता है और भी ट्रेन का ऊपर घूमेगा The irony is that materially the society to which they belong is not at all prosperous. We could not make out why the level of acceptance of the grim realities of life is so high. Is it because the alternative options are a far cry, or the artisans are affected by a habit syndrome?
agencies do arrive to support their cause and they are most welcome. Now self-help groups are being formed so that the artisans do not have to depend only on commissioned work. With a package of forced savings, they can now think intently about a sustainable livelihood. The process has started only recently. The reformation of lifestyles and the passion to cultivate art again are two distinct issues. The Ganjam district is a lot art form. We have worked in three art forms. एक प्रहलाद नाटक दूसरा है शंखवादन और तीसरा एनिमल मास्क डांस वो जो कला को सुप्त हो जाता है गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से एसएचजी ग्रुप फॉर्मेशन करके उस कलाकार को इनकम बढ़ाना उसका मकसद है हमारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट में अभी चौसठ ग्रुप बना चुका है और उसमें प्रहलाद नाटक का उनतीस एनिमल मास्क डेंस का सोलह और शंखवादन का अठारह उसमें टोटल आठ आर्टिस्ट शामिल हुआ है पहले उसको हम गांव-गांव के सर्वे किया है कौन गांव में किस ग्रुप है उसको हम कन्विंस किया है और उसका इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन को बढ़ाने के लिए और उसका लाइवलीहुड को बढ़ाने के लिए और उसका रोजी रोटी उस कला से इनकम करने के लिए वो ग्रुप बनाना चाहिए और ग्रुप माध्यम से एक एक आदमी हर महीने कुछ कुछ खाता खोल के निकट बैंक में अकाउंट खोलने खोलने के बाद डिपॉजिट करो जब डिपॉजिट दस गुना हो जाएगा तो गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से कुछ ग्रुप को मिलेगा लोन इस माध्यम से वो जो पैसा मिलेगा वो पैसा के जरिए कुछ सामान खरीदेंगे कस्टम ड्रेस वो सोचता है जो गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से ऐसे प्रोग्राम हमको मिलेगा कि नहीं मिलेगा उसका मन में था लेकिन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एजेंसी से जो कदम उठा है वो ऐसा एक बढ़िया कदम है इसलिए वो धन्यवाद देता है हम डिपार्टमेंट को और अगर गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से उस प्रोग्राम अगर जारी रहेंगे और कुछ फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस उसको देंगे तो डेफिनेटली ऑटोमेटिक इंप्रूवमेंट उसका स्किल डेवलपमेंट होगा और उसका लाइवलीहुड अच्छा होगा The Eastern Zonal Cultural Center is offering necessary input so that the folk artists of Ganjam can revive and revitalize their craft as much as their lives. It seemed to us that the barrier between rural innocence and urban complexity is not to be broken. The artisans would prefer to return to their roots at the end of the day, 
with new potentials in proper training, decent earning and greater creative capability.
Eastern Zonal Cultural Center is optimistic about the emergence of a new horizon of hope and self-confidence in this land of enchanting folklore.